everybody, this is Ryan and Angela from AustinReviews.com and this is Blue Monday. First up on Blue Monday we have The Roommate, which we both actually had the privilege of seeing this film. Uh, AKA Single White Female. Yeah, but I hate it when people do that. Just because a movie's like another movie, yeah, it's the same premise. Okay, no, I get what you're saying, but this was pretty down to the point of like she even went and dyed her hair like the other girl and went after the ex-boyfriend like the other girl and Single White Female. She just tried to step it up with a tattoo. That's really the only difference. Yeah, I mean, it is it is single white female for the tweeny kind of twilight. Young college age is really who it's... Yeah, I mean, we yeah. got the hip music and stuff instead of a mm -hmm. real score. But I dug the final scene, and it was pretty suspenseful. Yeah, we got into it. We were like, yeah, stab the bitch. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I think that's the whole point. You know, yeah. you have somebody go through an entire movie and be crazy and do all this crazy stuff until finally at the end you get to see him die. And it's a reward. Awesome. Yeah. The sound was good. The picture was good. Uh, it has a little bit of special features, kind of like what you expect, just a behind the scenes thing and dress to kill, which I thought was pretty stupid. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this movie... Uh, I was dressing dangerously, I think. It was one of those movies that seeing the trailer, you're like, oh gosh. And then even reading the reviews, you're like, yeah, glad I skipped it. But I still kind of wanted to see it, so I would give it a rent it. Yeah, I'm going to give it a rent it too. It's not a bad film. We have a lot of movies, though, to cover, so we're going to hurry up real fast and uh, talk about Black Death. This is a really cool movie put out by Magnet and Magnolia. I mean, looking at the cover, uh, you know, you got Boromir rocking out. <laughs> On the front, right? <laughs> Isn't he in a new show now where he dresses just like yes, that? Yes, he is the king of... Game of Thrones? Is yeah, that what it is? He's, he's in Game of Thrones. He's the king of the medieval story, and it's really good. It's the telling of the plague, which, oh, okay. you know, going and talking about that is, is something that, you know, most people, I don't think it's ever really been touched on. So really. they set out to go find a witch that is living in a town that is not had the plague. Nobody's dying there, everything's fine, so they think she's a necromancer and they go after her to kill her and, you know, in the name of God and all this kind of stuff, oh. all this medieval stuff. It's, it's actually really good. There's a priest in the movie, you know, I, I usually hate all these religious tone movies, but it's really good and awesome and... What is it good though, the action or the story? The action's great. I love the way it was shot. There's actually a cool little featurette on there about how they shot the action and stuff. Uh, the story is good too. It, 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 it's really deep and if I go into really why I liked it and stuff, it kind of gives away the entire ending. But yeah. it's kind of a twist there at the end and, and really surprising because... But Sean Bean's in it so it's yeah. going to be good. Right. So I would suggest you go out and buy Black Death. Ignore the really crappy cover and check this out. It's a, it's a great one from Magnet and Magnolia. Okay. Next right. up, All we right. have uh, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s comeback with the hit list. Not exactly. <laughs> what happened to Cuba Gooding Jr.? Okay. I don't know. The hit list is a good watch if you just want to watch somebody that can act with a whole bunch of people that can't. <laughs> it's really, really bad what he's, he's like, like really a, trying. Like an SNL movie or an MTV movie or something? No. Like... Cuba's bringing it, and everybody <laughs> else, you know, just can't act. He's it's trying, like, he must be really trying to prove, like, that Oscar was worth it. He really does have the Cuba can to... act. I know, there, I, I knew he can. There's nothing wrong with Cuba. He was can... great in Snow Dogs. I really wish that there was a reason that he had, like, maybe a drug problem or something and got kicked out of Hollywood, but no, I just think he makes the horrible d decisions, and Hit List is one of those horrible decisions. Bad story? <sighs> it's, it's collateral. Okay. It's collateral. Exactly story point of collateral. He so meets, good action? He meets Cuba, this guy meets Cuba Gooding Jr. in a bar, goes on and on. He's having a really, really bad day. Gives him a list. They're joking around of people that he wants to kill. I remember this trailer. Yeah. people that he, And then Cuba Gooding Jr. goes out there and kills him. Oh, okay. So he's a badass. Yeah, he's, he's a badass. He's a psycho. He's... Does he have ninja skills? No ninja skills. Ah. And no special features. Ah. Yeah, so... so the, no, is it even worth seeing? Okay, I think I'm going to give this a skip it, but I think I'm going to write this up for movies to drink to because it has a lot of that. <gasps> we haven't had one of those in a while. <laughs> okay. Stay tuned. <laughs> okay, this one that's coming up next, I picked out. I wanted to see it, and I've only gotten through half of it so far. So, uh, Vanishing on 7th Street. Tell us about it. Uh, movie... 
from the director of the machinist. the machinist. Yes, which he also talks in the special features here that they're going to do another movie of Christian Bale. Ooh. I'm excited about that. Not excited about this movie. The Dark is kind of the monster in this. It's a movie that relies completely and totally on its ending, and the ending did not sell me. Uh, uh, I'm still going to watch it, though. <laughs> yeah, it might be a movie that you enjoy. It's just, for me, the ending just... It's, it's, it doesn't give you any answers. Mm -hmm. if, if you were... Oh, as to why this thing is happening. Yeah. Because as far as I've gotten in, and this won't ruin anything for those out there, but it's a story of all the electricity goes out, and once the dark, you know, kind of encompassing... Yeah each person they disappear completely even leaving their clothes behind kind of like steven spielberg's war of the worlds yeah. almost but uh there's a few people left behind that had a light on them like a candle or a flashlight or whatnot when this happened so they're surviving and trying to escape this dark coming after them so right and it's got john Leguizamo. yeah i love him who is another actor like cuba who can really act it just makes really bad decisions <laughs> he's a great actor and he's actually really good in this i i enjoy the cast is good everything's good about it. It's very suspenseful. The end is just blah. And that <laughs> ruins it for me. But there's a ton of special features Yeah, I was going to ask you. Special there's features. There's interviews you just with commentary. everybody from Fangora. There's commentary. There, there's uh, behind the scenes. There's a ton on this indie film. So. I would say rent it because I hated the ending. But check it out. Because Definitely worth seeing. I'm not sure if everybody's going to feel the same way I did. I was completely and totally let down. So I might totally love it. Yeah, I think it's one of those films that's going to be love it or hate it. I was getting into it, you know, for the first half. Okay, talking so. about love it or hate it. Mm. I fucking love this next one. I, I saw, saw the, the devil. devil. The trailer for this, which I think you've seen, yeah. is fantastic. Yeah, I saw the trailer. And, and I was nothing like, like the movie. Oh, this, really? Yeah, nothing like the movie. Uh, this is going to be, I would bet, anything on it, the next remake out of Hollywood. Oh, to make into the English yes. version, like The Ring? <laughs> right. Uh, the good, the bad, and the weird director on this. He is fantastic. The shots in this are just gorgeous. Japanese the reason shots why you always... have to own it on Blu-ray, you have to see this on Blu-ray. The sound is mind-blowing. It's about this special agent who loses his wife to a serial killer and goes out to seek revenge. Mm. And... The gore in this made me cringe. That takes a lot. A yeah. lot. I do not cringe at horror movies, and I wouldn't say this is a horror movie, but it ranges up there with Saw. And Psychological some... thriller. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. The action is mind-blowing. I, you have to see this movie. So it's not just subtitled, though. It's also dubbed for some people if they want it like yes, that. Yes, uh, don't. don't. Subtitles are the way to go. Movies are better in subtitles. Translation gets lost in dub, too, because well, uh, I've watched different versions, and you, you get a different feel for it. Yeah, and the actors can act. Let the actors that are saying the words do it. Let them act. Don't, have, don't watch the overdubs. Never watch an overdub. They should never put them in the movies, but I understand why they do. So what about special features? There are special features, even though they're in another language, and they're subtitled. Read, people. <laughs> <laughs> There's a great special feature about how they did the action and stuff. Great movie. Go out and check it out if that, if, you know, you take my word on things, go out and buy it. Ooh. It's fantastic. I saw the devil. Buy it. Buy it. All right. Next, oh, this is the last one for the week. And this one's just on DVD here, but Brotherhood. Yes. Brotherhood, a movie that I feel like at, here in Lost Reviews we've been pushing on people. Sarah yeah. saw this, reviewed it, saw it at a film it festival. Is. We have got some interviews about mm -hmm. this movie. Uh, loved it. It is fantastic. The suspense in this movie and the twist at the end is amazing. I was completely and totally blown away. This is a DVD, by the way, and it has two commentaries. Ooh, that yeah, is basically special. unheard of on a DVD, but I would suggest picking it up on Blu-ray. I definitely suggest buying this. The acting is fantastic. It's very suspenseful. It's a, it's a thriller in a sense that I've never seen. Tell them a little bit about what the story is. Well, you know a little bit about the story. Yeah, from you? what I know, because I've just seen the trailers, is it's a college frat fraternity uh, trying to haze a new group of guys, right? Right. But, and Things they go take, terribly wrong? Well, they take them out... This is the, their initiation, is they have to go and rob a liquor store. But what really happens is they let them out of 
the van, they get them all psyched up, and they make them go rob this liquor store, and when they round the corner, there's a guy waiting for them, and he hands them a sack of money, and then they go back to the van. But what happens is one of the friends goes to the wrong gas station, and they send the guy in, and he actually robs the liquor store, and oh. everything spins out of control. So then that. they're just trying to cover up their tracks and fix their problems from then on, right, it's crazy. Right, he gets shot. They have to, they can't take him to the hospital because it's a gunshot wound. Yeah. Uh, they have, so they kidnap so the teller. So they have to convince him not to rat them out. And it just spirals completely and totally out of control. And these are all fairly new actors, aren't they not? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, I've never really seen them in other things. I know that they have been, uh, I think one of them's in Thumbsucker. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, relatively so they... new actors. Pull it off emotionally? Oh my gosh, yeah, this movie is so tense and right at the very end, and in the end, it like knocks you out with what it does. I would so want to tell you the twist here, but. Well, I'm excited to it's see it. A fantastic film, definitely by Brotherhood. Definitely You're going to have to seek it out because it is an, an indie, indie film, yeah. so seek this out and see it. Definitely. Uh, we had a lot of great movies on Blue Moon. Yeah, full week, so. Yes. Get to renting and buying, people. <laughs> Definitely. All right, and I'll see you next week. Bye.